Hello everyone, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, and as you can see, we're now in Telmberg. And uh, the first thing we're going to do here, well first off, the reason we're here is we're going to have to go up to this little town, what was the name of it? Uh, we're heading to New Newhoff? I don't know, we're heading to Uj Ujits, which we haven't been to before. But before we get down there, and I think it's straight ahead this way, but before we get down there, I want to stop by the bathhouse because I've got plenty of money right now. I want to go ahead and take a proper bath and get my clothes fixed because they are a bit tattered. And uh, I'm just curious of how how much better we're going to look with our clothes better. And I think it will help us out in the long run as well with, uh, with other... With talking to people and stuff like that, it's gonna help our nobility out, I think. So let's hop off the horse here and go talk to the uh, lady in the bathhouse. If I was a different kind of person, I would order the works, if you know what I mean. But I'm not that kind of guy. Use the bathhouse services. I'd like services. to make use of the bathhouse's services. So, what are you interested in? Hmm, let's see. To have a bath and launder my garments. Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. But of course. Money first, though. Of course, of course. Uh, only ten. That's not bad. Let's haggle that price. I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? I'm willing to pay s 8.5. Uh, since it's you. <laughs> That's a poor offer. Not really. I mean, come on. Alright, how about nine? Uh, since it's you. Well, a little more and ah, we'll call it a deal. Okay, okay. Alright. 9.5 it is. You won't regret spending the money. I guarantee it. Well, we'll see. Alright. <clears throat> Hopefully, I look a lot nicer. <laughs> Actually, let's talk to her again and just see if I see what our clothes look like. They're still torn. They may be. At least the blood will be washed off. Yeah, they're still torn, but I am clean. My helmet's nice and clean, so that's nice. God bless. Okay, well... We can't get our clothes fixed there, apparently, but we can get them washed, so that's good to know. Okay, let's head to Ushitz. Shouldn't be too awfully far away, I don't think, so we'll just kind of enjoy the ride there. And uh, check out the scenery. Wow, we activated the Savage perk. More cows down there in the valley. I don't know what those are. Hmm. I'm just curious. Is that where trees were? Beehives. Okay, cool. That's, uh, that's new. Looks like somebody's had an accident here. Appears, I guess that's what that is. It's nice just to just to ride around, you know. Got a wagon wheel laying there. Nice just to ride around and take in the scenery. Really, I mean, it's relaxing. It's like walking through a forest. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but apparently we discovered a forest. A pretty, pretty big forest as well. There's something down there. Look at that. There's like a camp down there. Deer running around. Uh, 
Oh, there's gotta be so much in this game that we have not discovered yet. I mean, we're basically just playing the main story, and I think there's quite a lot of things to do. So I'm looking forward to getting involved in some different things. The cow here, tent over there. This must be Uzitz. Right, let's read about this place. The first written mention of Uzitz in King in Kingdom Come and Deliver Uzitz dates to 1284. Until 1552, ownership of the small town was split between the lords of Telmberg and the lords of Rattage, who eventually became its sole owners. The medieval church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary built in the 12th century, stands in the center of the village. <laughs> Alright, well, it says we found out where the Limping Bandit lives. Limping Bandit, and I'm assuming it just means Uzids. Uh, so we've got to actually see if we can find him. So we need to tie our horse up somewhere. We can start questioning some of the townsfolk, probably. See if they've seen him anywhere. I'm trying to find a proper place to tie my horse. I guess we could tie him up right here. There's a lot of commotion going on right here. Uh, let's Somebody talk to this guy. Me. What? What? What's up, man? No, no, stop, 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 stop. What's the matter? You won't get away with this. Jesus, look I'm assuming you're... he's chasing this guy right here. Let's tackle him. The bastard. Oh shoot! I should have got my horse. The bastard. Come on, let's get him. He's slowing down good. I think we can catch up with him right now. Maybe. Maybe. Aw, oh, come on. We're so close to him there. Here we go. Oh, slow down just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. Surrendering. All right, what about you? What? Thief! Thief! Ah! Really? Come on now. We literally just caught you, man. Stop. Is this guy going to tackle him? He might. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he did. Good, good. Come on, tackle. There we go. Did I miss him? Oh, oh, he, oh, crap. Oh, he's unconscious. Okay. I wonder what he stole. I'll take his lockpick. You showed him. Thank you. I know. Thank you. A thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Oh, wow, thanks. You basically just give me the money that he had on him. What else has he got on him? Anything? Oh, no, I guess you didn't. Okay, well, that's fine. See you, buddy. Don't steal stuff. You make yourself look bad. All right, let's run back to the city. That was an interesting little uh, little deal that just happened there. I was kind of hoping that we would get something else out of that, but um, you know, the, the beginnings of another quest or 
something more useful, but that's okay. It is possible we made an impression on someone that might help us out later. So we'll just go ahead and run on back to the uh, to the tavern over here. Let's talk to this guy, Loomer. Who's Loomer? Good day to you. Good day, Loomer. The fellow with the limp. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? What would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Rate. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're very helpful. Uh, we're going to hang around here for just a minute. And just kind of talk to some of the townsfolk. Kind of figure out what's going on around here, you know, see if anything interesting is happening. What about you, wench? Hmm, let's see what she says about it. I'm him. looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? Ah, he lives here all right, the devil take him. In a cottage at the end of the village by the road to Neuhof. Okay, so one says oh, the road nice. to Neuhof, one says the road to Rate. Or Ratai, or however you, however you pronounce it. Uh, two villagers here. Anybody that's named, that's who I'm looking for. Any named characters. Let's check up here. Villager, villager. Oh, Maple and Vashik. Hail as usual. Jesus Christ be praised. Yes, sir. The fellow with the limp. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you know anyone with a limp? Aye, there's one fellow with a limp. Can't imagine what you'd want with the likes of him, but that's your affair. He lives in a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Neuhof. Okay, so he says he says he's on the road to Neuhof as well. And Vashik? God be with you. Uh, and this guy can actually train us. What does he train us in? Horse riding. Yeah, we don't really need that, I don't think. Okay, well, let's go take off to, uh... To where this guy's supposed to be. Real fast, just kind of make sure you have check. I think he must be right down here somewhere. This is a pretty big place. Wow, look. I like how they've done their gardens. That's pretty neat. This must be the tanner right here. Go ahead and discover that. Oh, sorry, sir. Hello. Well, I was trying to discover your business, but apparently I can't. So now I'm stuck on a bucket. Mm hmm? And this looks like his place. What's going on here? Limpy Lubush. Hmm. Wonder what happened. Move along, citizens. Move along. There's nothing to see here. That's what you call nothing to see. I'd like to know what something to see looks like. <sighs> By the keys of St. Peter, this is all I need. We'll have to send word to Sir Hanush. That might not be necessary. Who are you? I'm Henry of Scalitz, in the service of Hanush's Captain Bernard. I'm investigating the attack at Neuhof, and I think this could be related. 
Well, I'm the bailiff of Auschwitz. And I say we don't want any of that kind of trouble around here. What makes you think this has anything to do with Neuhof? One of the folk at the stud farm recognized someone from Auschwitz among the bandits. We have no bandits or murderers around here. Really? They say you had a limp? Shit. Well, allow me to introduce you to Limpy Lubosch. Or all that's left of him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sacra. Oh, nothing's ever easy. I'll have to take a look around and ask a few more questions, if that's all right with you. You can take this mess off my hands and welcome to it. As for what else there is to find out, I don't know. But look and ask all you like. Wow, what in the world? That's... That's just nuts. Okay, well, that was uh, a twist. I really didn't expect to see something like that. I guess we'll investigate the surroundings. Who was Limpy Lubosch? Who was Limpy Lubosch? A poor crofter and a scoundrel. Can't say I'm too surprised what happened to him. He kept company with all sorts of vermin. He was always getting into some kind of trouble. Punch-ups in the tavern and what have you. Why did he limp? How come he limped? He got that from some villainy or brawl a long time ago. Who do you know about anything sus- or do you know about anything suspicious? Has he been up to anything suspicious lately? Hmm. I don't know. The last few days he didn't go anywhere. He was home the whole time. But he always kept everyone in the village at arm's length. Did he have any cronies? Did he have any kith or kin in the village? None. A loner he was. I don't know the last time I saw him with anyone. Where was he on the night Niehoff was raided? Do you happen to know where he was on the night of the Neuhoff raid? Or Neuhoff. I've no idea. He kept his distance from other folk, so you never knew if he was away or holed up at home. Okay. When was the body found? When did you find the body? And did anyone see anything? Just now. And nobody saw or heard anything. I don't know how they could gut him like that without someone hearing him scream. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, more about Lubosch? Another thing about Lubosch. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this is all stuff we've already asked. Okay. Well, thank you for answering my questions. Let's talk to some of the townsfolk here. Um, traders probably don't say much. Let's get the villagers say anything. I'm gonna guess no, or at least they all probably say the same thing. Can you tell me anything about Lubosch? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? He was a drunkard and a beast, and lazy too. Idle hands are the devil's tools. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? The only thing seemed suspicious was how a rogue like him suddenly started going to church. Now hmm. I see why, of course. Huh. What was Lubosch doing the night of the Neuhoff raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? What do I care about that scoundrel? I was glad he stayed out of my way. Who did he meet with? Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? He was always a loner. Except lately he started talking to the parish priest of all people. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much for your uh, cooperation, ma'am. Let's talk to the next person in line. This might take a while. Marush. We've got a little information, but I'd like a little more. Can you tell me anything about Lubosch? I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. 
Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Who is this Lubosh who was murdered? Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. As you should have. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Mm, maybe. What was Lubosch doing the night of the Neuhoff raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. And who did he meet with? Do you know who Lubosch used to spend time with? Kin or friends? As far as I know, he had nobody at all in this world. Okay. Um, I think that's enough that's questioning. All. Thank you. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look in the house, and this is going to be a grisly scene. So avert your eyes if you're squeamish. Oh man, look at that! That is just—I don't even know what to say about that. What's this? Looks like someone's hit him very hard on the head. Could they have bludgeoned him to death and then gutted him? That would explain why he didn't scream. Yeah, but... Hmm. An inscription in blood. It's a pity I don't know how to read. Looks like they wanted to give someone a warning, but who? And a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Uh, I wonder if we should go so we can learn how to read and then come back and investigate this place farther. A bed? Mm, nothing here of any use. Or there. Lord above, they did a hell of a job on him. Must have been agony. How come no one heard anything? Hmm, let's see if there's anything in here. Ah, We've got a few more lockpicks we could take off that bandit, so... Cobweb, nothing, nothing in here worth anything to us, really. Hmm, nothing here. Nothing there as well. Okay, uh, and then one more room here. Oh! Marush. Uh, are you his wife? Uh, why are you in here? How are you in here? Okay, well, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. You're here. That's all. That's all that matters, I guess. Okay. Well, I don't see anything in here, so let's go ahead and let's go up to the. Oh, it's dark. Hmm. I wonder if we should go ahead and try to sleep. Can we sleep here? Looks like we can. We'll go ahead and sleep here for the night. Get up about. Let's get up about seven o'clock. That gives us ten hours, and uh. And then we'll continue our investigation in the morning. I try not to play too much at night, even though it's really pretty. It, it's so dark on uh, once it's uploaded. We're not very comfortable, it seems, but we are sleeping on the floor, so... I guess that's to be expected. Okay. Let's um Let's look out. Does he have anything in his barn that could help us out here? Uh, 
Uh, nope. Again, it's just a bunch of junk. What about this little house right here? Can't get in there. Alright, so let's go up here to the scribe. I want to see if they can help us learn how to read at all. Before we talk to the priest. So actually, we got to go up here and talk to the priest. What, what is our objective down here? Is it still to investigate the area? Find out more. Well, how, how can we find out any, any more? There's really no one else here to talk to. What's this guy? Does this guy see anything about him? He may say something about the priest. Good health to you. You as well, bailiff. Nope. Nothing else. Okay. What is it? I apologize, sir. I wonder if this girl's still in here. She is not. Yeah, I don't know how we can find out really anything else about him. Uh, there's not really anyone here to talk to. I guess we probably should have just went ahead and talk to everybody, but doesn't matter now. Let's go up here and oh, come on, I'll get to the gate, horse. Let's go up here and talk to the scribe. And uh, maybe the scribe can kind of give us a lesson on reading. Really? Another? Th I'm not gonna chase you down again, dude. Right, where is the scribe? Okay, I see. Right over here. Here. He may be able to teach us how to read a little bit. I'd like to learn how God to read with you. and then go back down there and see if I can read what's over his head. Can you tell me anything about Lubosh? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Ask away. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? That man Lubosh who was murdered? What was he like? He was a drunk who was always looking for a fight. Nobody liked him much, but I wouldn't wish an end like that on any man. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Well, now I think of it, I hadn't seen him around for a while. No idea where he was skulking. What was Lubosch doing on the day of the Neuhof, Neu, Neuhof raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhof was raided? Not a clue. Who was Lubosch seeing? Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? He was a loner. He didn't even have any mates in the tavern. Hmm, okay. Well, thank you for That's that. That's all. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to learn to read. I'd like to learn to read. You? Hmm. You don't look like the makings of a priest or clerk. But why not? I've taught all sorts. Bear in mind, it won't be all that easy. You'll need plenty of time and a few groschen for my trouble. Understood. We can get started. All right. I don't want to waste time. We can get started. The sooner I master it, the better. Very well. I will require some groschen from you, though, and set aside at least a couple of days so I can put you through your paces, if indeed time is of the essence. Okay, 50. That's fine. I can definitely give you that. Here are your Grushin. Then we may as well start. I know this is kind of off the beaten path, but... He did break his vow, but better than to dishonor it here. May he follow his heart. Wake up, lad. It's time we were getting on. So, let's see you read a bit. Oh boy. There's a book here on the table. Try to read it. Will I manage? You ought to be able to, 
It's a simple text. Come back once you've worked your way through it. Okay. Huh. Okay, I got you. One day a countryman going... One day a countryman going to the nest of his goose found... found there an egg. All yellow and glittering. When he looked... When he took it up, it was as heavy as lead, and it was going to throw it, and he was going to throw it away because he thought a trick had been played upon him. But he took it. Uh. How how can I not decipher a four-letter word? Well, on second thoughts, and soon found out his found found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold. Every morning the same thing occurred, and he soon became rich by selling his eggs. As he grew rich, he knew... As he grew rich, he grew greedy, and thinking to get at once all the good the goose could give, he killed it and opened it only to find nothing. Why would you kill a goose that was laying golden eggs? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, yeah, I got through that pretty easily. I mean, I wouldn't have that bad, really. Some of the words mixed up, but... I managed. I've read the book. I've read the book. Wonderful. So tell me, what have you learned? There was something about some fellow and a goose. I need to read it again. That's be That being greedy doesn't pay. That being greedy doesn't pay. Excellent. You're one of my most talented pupils. You've uncovered the meaning hidden in the letters. Like I told you, books are valuable. And the words that you place in them ought to be no less so. Does that mean that I can read them? Yes, you have the foundation. Remember, my boy, the pen is mightier than the sword. To fully learn your way around words will take a lot more reading yet. Now we'll move on to the second lesson, which will be much harder. Many books are written in Latin, the language of erudite and religious men. If you really want to be able to read, there's no getting away from Latin. There's a book on the table with some text. Oh boy. Read it and then come back. You need not understand it, but you should master the letters. I only just managed the fable about the goose, and now you're asking me to tackle Latin. <laughs> you're a clever lad. You'll manage. Mm, I'm not so sure. But, um, okay, if you say so. Uh, I assume it's the same book. Uh, nope. Different book. Ah, uh, it must be this one. Yep, can't read that. I've read the book. I read the page. I read the page. So tell me, Distrupule, what's written there? Oh. <laughs> Dullus liver tam malus ut none a liquor party profit. Well, that's not it, and this is not it either. This one should be. Uh, nullus est liber tam malus. Uh, ut non a uh, liqua parte prosit. Good heavens! Don't tell me you haven't had lessons before. Excellent. Well, there's nothing more I can teach you. Congratulations. You can go and be ordained right away. Oh, wow. Thank, thank you, Domine. I'm feeling a lot uh, wiser. Hmm, that actually wasn't nearly as tough as I thought it was going to be. We've got a perk point we can spin there. Let's uh, let's look at that real fast. We've got actually quite a few perk points we can spin. We've got hunting, lock picking, and reading. Uh, we'll start out here with hunting. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. We want to wait until we can get uh, Tanner, don't we? Because that's the first thing we get. Whoops. Lock picking. 
Your lock picks will be more durable and last twice as long. That'd be nice to have. After successfully picking a lock, you have 20% chance of any broken lock picks returning to your inventory. That would also be nice. Let's uh, let's do repair man first. Actually, hmm, I'm not sure. We'll do repair man first. And one more here. Reading. All books are cheaper in shops. When reading, you will get tired and hungry twice as slowly as normal. Hmm. Well, I guess this, if, if we get hungry and tired from reading, I guess this would be a good one to start out with. So let's do that. I don't plan on reading a lot yet. But uh, we may start getting into some of that later on. Basically, I just wanted to read enough to get down here and... and Look at the word on his, uh, on the, written on the wall down here. And we also have to go get ordained now as well. So let's go back to this guy's house. And see if we can, uh, read whatever's written on the wall. Then we'll go talk to the priest, and maybe the priest can ordain us while we're talking to him. Judas. Mm. Looks like this is meant to be a warning. But for who? And why? Maybe the gang had a falling out. But a bandit who knows how to write isn't something you see every day. Alright. Well, that gives us a little more information, so that's good. Nothing that we can understand right now, but... Jesus apparently may come up later on and help us out. All right, so let's check our journal real fast. We got, um, let's see, there was one. Okay, so learn to read isn't here anymore. So I guess that was not a continuing quest. Where is this at? Oh, okay, that's right. I remember. Uh, so mysterious ways is the one we gotta go talk to the priest. We still need to find out. It says still to find out more about Lubbush. And it's I mean, geez, we can go. It's a big area, but I don't know who to talk to. Let's go talk to the priest. I think that's the best thing to do currently. I mean, I know that we can, you know, we need to investigate as much as possible, but at the same time, I don't have an hour and a half to talk to everybody in this town. Actually, you know what? Let's stop at the tavern. We'll talk to some people here because... Or have we already been here? We've already been here, haven't we? We have not talked to this guy, though. We can't talk to that guy, apparently. Oh, there we go. Maybe he knows something. We also need to talk to uh, the barmaid. Generally, people in bars uh, to you. hear a lot about everybody, so... Can you tell me anything about Lubosh? I've come in the name of Sir Hanush of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know nothing about it, but to ask all you want. Who is this Lubosh and who was murdered? That man Lubosh who was murdered. What was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself, even in the tavern. Hmm. Have you noticed anything suspicious? Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Come to think of it, he was in church yesterday. He was even talking to the priest and went to confession. I was wondering what he was up to. To take to the faith all of a sudden. But, I suppose no sin's too dark for God's mercy. What was Lubosch doing on the day of the Neuhof raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhof was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. Hmm. Who was Lubosch seeing? Do you know anyone Lubosch used to spend time with? Relatives or friends? Not with anyone from the village. 
He used to sit in the tavern next to us sometimes, but he never said much. Okay, well, you did give us a little That's bit more all. information, Thank but you. no information that I can actually use, it doesn't seem. Uh, what's happening around here? Is there anything suspicious going on in these parts? Indeed, there is. Ooh. Around here? <laughs> you should hear about what Vashek the groom has been up to at the stables. <laughs> When the head groom told the lads here, they fell off their seats laughing. <laughs> oh, and another thing. Just last night, Father Godwin was here, calling fire and brimstone down on old Gertrude, the herb woman. He's not one to make a fuss over some trifle either. Okay, well, thank you then for that. Uh, let's see, we discovered a baker. Yeah, I really don't know what else I can find. Here's the barmaid. I want to talk to her real quick and just see if she knows anything. And uh, he can't. She can't tell us nothing. It's grayed out, so that's gonna be the same. Coming. That's grayed out. Looks like pretty much everything's grayed out now. So we'll continue on up here to the priest. Okay. Um. Let's head up here to the church. Well, we got a codex entry on that. The priests were among the elite in medieval society. How long is it? It's not too long. Priests were among the, me the, the elite in medieval society, and among the few who had any education, village priests were less educated than those of the larger parishes. They could barely read or write, had no library, and learned the litur liturgy by heart. They were none too well off, typically working in the fields or raising livestock, like lay farmers. They were not celibate, celibate, enjoyed folk entertainment and games, dancing and going to the tavern. As time went on, looser morals and educational decline spread to the towns and monasteries. By contrast, the priests in the larger parishes and towns owned more property, and with the exception to, of service to God, did not have to resort to any manual work. The duties of the priest encompass preparation and serving of mass, hearing confessions, taking care of the church, its operation and decoration, visiting the poor and the sick, arranging charity collections, collecting dues, conducting baptisms, weddings, last rites, and funerals. Uh, you. What are you doing? You look like you're training in some way. So let's talk to you real fast. You actually are the person we need to talk to anyway, so that works out. Uh, yeah, Father Godwin. Can I ask you a few questions about Lubosh? The blessings of our good Lord be with you, Father. I'm here in the name of Sahanish of Lypa, investigating the massacre at Neuhof, which seems to be connected to a murder here. Can I ask you a few questions? It seems Sir Hanush is employing children as investigators. But ask as you wish, boy. I hope this nasty business will be cleared up quickly. Did you know Lubosh? What was he like? A bit of a lost soul. Simple, rough fellow, but at heart I don't think he was such a bad person. Did you notice anything suspicious? Did you notice anything suspicious recently? My child, all sorts of suspicious things have been going on recently. People like Lubosh don't know what to do about it, and sometimes they do stupid things. That's really not a lot of help to me, Father. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what was Lubosch doing on the day of the Neuhof raid? Do you know what Lubosch was doing on the day Neuhof was raided? Unfortunately, I do know. And I'd like to help you with your investigation, but I can't. What? I'm bound by certain vows that forbid hmm. me to tell you. Aww. Vows more important than catching dangerous murderers? There are laws of God above the laws of man, son. And one of those is the sanctity of the confessional. There has to be some exception. Father, surely you can't be serious. There must be situations in which you can make an exception. There are things that apply always, no matter what the circumstances, and this is one of them. Hmm. Well, I think, I think anything we do is probably going to fail, but we'll try this one. You can't hurt him now. But Lubosh is dead. 
You can't hurt him. But if you don't tell me, more innocent people may die. If I told you yeah. I would be betraying a vow that's a cornerstone of the Holy Church, if people believed the sanctity of the confessional couldn't be trusted, the consequences would be even worse than that. Worse than the death of innocent Christians? Worse than the murderer escaping punishment? No one escapes punishment. Ah, uh, Lubosch was my only lead. Father, Lubosch was my only lead to the Neuhof Raiders. Only he could tell me who was responsible for that massacre. If I don't find out who it was, it will probably happen again. Surely you wouldn't want that. I wouldn't. But I can't betray the sanctity of the confessional. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll try to think up some way of helping you. Suppose we talk it over in the evening. In the tavern. Over a cup of good wine. Maybe we'll come up with something. All right. Thank you, Father. I guess. Uh, John Huss. John Huss, circa 1370 to 6, 7, 14, 15, uh, was a priest and thinker and one of the most important Czech religious reformers and preachers. His works inspired by the theological writings of John Wycliffe played a key role in underpinning the essence of the Re Reformation. As of 1398, he worked in dismantling decimated his teachings at Prague University, but as early as 1403, German professors were labeled him a heretic. Six years later, up to 20,000 doctors, masters, and students were forced to leave Prague University as a result of theological disputes. From 1402, Huss preached at the Bethlehem Chapel of Prague, where all sermons were delivered not in Latin, but in Czech. This place became the center of the reformation of Bohemia, in Bohemia. Because of his controversial relationship with the church and opinions on Catholic ethics, Huss was persecuted and finally convicted of heresy by the Council of Constance, for which he was burnt at the stake. The followers of the reformist idea rallied together after the events of Constance leading to the beginning of the Hussite Wars, 1420-1432. Burnt at the stake. My, that's... Not good. Okay, so we got to meet and we learned folk songs as well. Uh, yeah, I'm not reading folk songs. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to go down here and... And they still want us to speak to more people about... Who else can we talk to? I mean, really. They still want us to speak... Well, I'm, I'm going to go around and talk to some more people real fast and uh, just see if I can come up with any more information because it's... It really wants us to talk to people, apparently, for some reason. Hmm, this is, uh, this is the bailiff here. We've got a, one more uh, dialogue option with him. The Usitz priest is no ordinary cleric. The parish priest here in Usitz, he's a peculiar sort of cleric. I noticed he's quite handy with a sword. He is indeed. He's as hard as nails. More than once he's intervened in a brawl in the tavern and sat everyone on their asses. He's not to be taken lightly. I doubt he acquired those skills at the seminary. You know how it goes. The nobles send their youngest sons to study for the priesthood, and our parish priest has blue blood in him. He probably learned to fight at home before he went to university. That's how it goes with those aristocrats. But I heard something happened, and he was roving the world for a while. I don't know what he got up to, though. Hmm. Okay. All right. Back to looking for people to talk to. Well, I have literally talked to everyone that I can find, except for this person right here. Let's talk to her. I don't think I've talked to her yet. And she doesn't say anything either. So really, nobody is telling me anything any different. I'm not sure why that uh, quest marker is still active, but it could have something to do with the priest. Uh, there's one more thing I want to try. I want to go inside the church and see if anyone's in there. And maybe I get lucky and someone in there knows something. I'm going to doubt it, but you never know. Yeah, I don't see anything. It looks like the church is in reconstruction anyways. So, don't think we're going to find anything out here. Really pretty, though. Okay, well, I'll shoot. We don't want to disrespect the house of God. Alright, so I guess we need to go to the tavern and meet 
the uh, priest there, and we have to meet him at... In the evening, it says. That's all it says in the evening. But I think he's there now. So let's go talk to him. Maybe we can find out something. Uh, I guess he's inside. Indeed. No, he's not. Hmm. Well, where's he at? Oh, excuse me, El House what are Maid. What you doing? Trying to get out the door. What are you doing? Where is he? Is there an upstairs to this place that I haven't noticed? Maybe there is. That's the only place he could be. I've already went around the whole place. Oh, there is an upstairs. Interesting. Why would he be up here? Now we're in a private area. Okay. Well, he's obviously not there. Okay, maybe I just sit down and he shows up. Or not. You know what? This is what we're going to do. What time is it? Let's wait till 1600. And then maybe he'll be here by then. I think it's just telling me to wait at the, uh, to go to the L house. That's why the markers are there. Not necessarily a marker for the priest. So we'll wait till 1600 and just see if he shows up. Hopefully this is a sort of a quick conversation here. Um, he's still not here. Oh, come on now, it is the evening. Alright, we'll wait a little longer. What about till 1900? That's definitely evening. Clock is so slow. Okay. Just takes forever for it to get that. That last hour takes a long time. There he is. Come on, Father Godwin. Oh, there's a lot of people here now. Wow. Alright. How are you doing, Mr. God or Father Godwin? Let's chat. I'm sorry I can't tell you everything, but maybe we can work something out. No, I understand. But first, I'd like to hear something about you, my son. With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? They're dead. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here. We'll drink to them. It must have been terrible. It was. It was. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovno. Folk who tried to take refuge there, but they... They... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? 
I'd have expected Sir Hannish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Uh, he did send him, actually. He did, but I found a witness and the trail led here to Ujit, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. We'll have to drink to that. Now the most important thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of what terrible happened? things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. This time they weren't exaggerating. The rumors aren't exaggerated this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits, but they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarreled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosch, they're still settling accounts. I see it's every bit as Come bad in. as people claimed. Dreadful. Yay, well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. I've told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. I noticed you're handy with a sword. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. Let's get straight to the point. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Then I've reached a dead end. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. What? If I tell you what Lubosch told me, I'd be betraying the confessional I secret. Don't... But, first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where else do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujits is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. A tongue lashing about the two popes goes down well these days. Got it and stories from real life, with a nice moral to them are popular as well, especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. <laughs> Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague, in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. Don't. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Calm down. 
priest, well, my goodness gracious. This Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Yeah. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I know better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Do you want to preach against the debauchery? Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be for, for debauchery? No, I don't. Okay, what do you think of Hoos? What do you think of this Jan Hoos? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Hmm. The teaching of Master Hoos? Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What are folks saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. <laughs> Nonsense. They can't hmm. burn a master of the most respected university in Europe? They can, actually. Enough about preaching. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. I say that's a good plan. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. I think they're getting drunk. <laughs> it's, uh, it seems. We're going to have to sleep it off. Enough of this! Uh oh. Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh. Uh. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Well, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, don't. I'd rather not. Oh, I'm over here. Yeah. You'll get what for. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Pour me one. Uh. One ale, please. Actually, doing pretty good drunk. Wow, I wasn't that bad at all. So, my dear, would you like to have a little ring on the bell? Oh no. Sure said and done. What's happening I'd here? I'd love to. 
And Henry, too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Oh, yes. Stop that nonsense, Godwin. Are you out of your mind? What will people say? They can say what they like. What do I care? What do they do to me? Watch the step, my dears. Careful, you don't hurt yourself. Godwin, you're... I think we're doing something we probably shouldn't be doing here. Like, I'm starting to think that this is a really bad idea. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> 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 This is wonderful. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, bloody oath. <laughs> and now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> All right. We know what that is. Let's not have a cutscene of that. <laughs> Godwin, you old goat. Come here. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie then. Oh dear. Am I seriously out in the sheep pasture? <laughs> oh my gosh. Please don't tell me what I... I, I don't know what happened. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out! Oh, oh, where the? Oh, what the? Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry, my great friend Henry. And we have a wonderful time. Well, you oh. certainly did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh, Christy Bonnie, my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? Where <laughs> the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! You're the priest. I can't do it in this state. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a sermon as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're gonna excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can't. You can do the sermon for me. What? So, first I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. 
Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. From what I remember, we might have overdone it a bit last night. And if the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishop's going to have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosch's cronies are. That's fair. Okay, so super, super long episode here. Um, don't think I can get it much out of it other than the uh, obvious naked women. So I'm going to end it right here, and when we get back, we'll uh, we'll talk to him about uh, whatever he wants to talk about. Um, so sorry it's so long, but uh, thanks for watching anyways. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a pretty good episode actually, uh, except for going through the town having to and like talk to con like tons of people which got a bit annoying but um hey that's fine we drank with the priest that was good fun and uh apparently lost our virginity i guess we were virgins well we probably wasn't actually because we did have a girlfriend back in scallets but uh yeah we we did um we know a girl now you know quote unquote so anyway thanks for watching guys i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will see you guys next time bye bye